Hey guys, it's your boy on wheels, CT Barry, coming at you for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the match cards for quite a few wrestling shows going on this weekend for WrestleMania weekend. I will show you the haul of new video games that I got. Uh, I celebrated my 25th birthday this past Monday, so I went shopping and got some new games. Also got this new hat. You see right there, the Joey Votto signature on it. So, let's get into this video, but I'm going to get serious for a moment. Before I talk about wrestling and video games, I... Uh, want to send out my condolences and my thoughts and prayers to the victims and the families of the recent school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I give you my thoughts and my prayers for all of those families affected by this horrible tragedy and I ask my audience to please do the same because this is a, just a horrible, horrible thing that has become all too common in our country. And I just hope and I pray that the government reaches some kind of conclusion to stop this. And that's all I'm really going to say about that. But I just wanted to send my condolences to those families because both of my mother and father work in school systems. So I just, I just hate to imagine what these poor families are going through right now. But with that being said, let's move on to wrestling. So, on this card right here, I have WrestleMania Night 1 and 2. And then I have the upcoming match card for TWA's Stormfront this weekend. Which I'll go into more details about that in a little bit. And uh, the Ring of Honor Super card. I tried to find the match card for Multiverse United, but some things have happened in the world of New Japan and Impact, um, which I'll, I'll go ahead and address that right now. Um, so, if you, if you follow Impact Wrestling, you know that Josh Alexander was supposed to defend his TWA heavy, or not TWA, Impact, world title against Kushida at this event, but unfortunately, Josh Alexander tore his triceps, as we found out on the um, Sacrifice show that aired on Impact Plus, and he had to relinquish the Impact World title. And as a fan, I want to say, Josh, thank you for everything you've done for Impact Wrestling. It has been an honor to watch you defend the Impact World title against some of the best names in the wrestling business today. And I wish you a speedy recovery, my man, and may you regain your place on top here soon. And uh, I know Will Ospreay was supposed to wrestle, but he is injured. So I wish we'll all spread the best recovery. And I couldn't find the updated match cards for the show. So unfortunately, I do not have that one. But I do know that it will be on Fight TV exclusively. I do believe you have to pay for it. I don't think it's free. And that goes on... Actually, that goes on tonight at 11. So, I'm looking at my calendar, so... 
That's what's going on for Impact and New Japan this WrestleMania weekend. And speaking of WrestleMania, we'll go right into night one of WrestleMania. So what I'll do here is I'll read off the match card and I'll give you my predictions on who I feel is going to win at WrestleMania this weekend. And for WrestleMania night one... We have John Cena taking on Austin Theory for the United States title. I've been a big John Cena fan my whole life. And, you know, I know he's in a part-time role now. And he's used to help elevate talent. But... I'm just not completely sold on Austin Theory yet, personally. I think he has potential, but I'm just not completely sold on him yet, personally. So I think John Cena will win this and then like lose the title the following night on Raw or at WrestleMania Backlash. So that's just my thoughts for that match. I'm pulling for my boy John Cena. Mr. Hustle World, take respect. Mr. You Can't See Me to beat Austin Theory for the U.S. title. And we have Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown Women's title. Now, I know a lot of people think Charlotte's overrated. She's just over because of her dad. And I personally think that's a load of crap. You know, I think Charlotte, to me, is one of the best talents in the WWE today and you know I think she deserves her legacy and I think in my personal opinion she's surpassed Rick and I've even heard Rick Flair say that himself so but I think Rhea Ripley is going to win because if you remember back at WrestleMania 31, I believe it was, you know, when they had the, when they had it at the Performance Center with no fans due to the COVID pandemic, you know, Charlotte beat Rhea for the NXT title, so I think this time Rhea's finally going to get that win over Charlotte and become the new SmackDown Women's Champion, and Next, we have the Usos versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for the SmackDown Tag Titles. I know this match has been teased all over wrestling outlets on social media for months, even when Sami was still hot in the bloodline, that this match was going to happen at WrestleMania, and I think that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will and the record-breaking reign of the Usos at WrestleMania. And next, we have Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, and Lita versus Damage Control. Now, I know Becky is one of the top stars in the women's division, just like Charlotte Flair is, uh, but I think they brought in Trish and Lita to help finally put Damage Control over as the top heel faction in the women's division. So I think Damage Control will win this, but I don't think Becky will take the fall because I don't think they want her to, like, lose her star power. So I think Trish or Lita will probably take the fall in the match, and Damage Control will become the top faction in the women's division in WWE. And we have Dominic versus Rey Mysterio and a father versus son clash at WrestleMania. You know, this match has been building for since Clash at the Castle back in September when Dominic turned on Ray and Edge and aligned himself with the Judgment Day. I think Dominic will win this because I believe Ray wants to put his son over. Because I don't think Ray is going to be wrestling too much longer. I seen online yesterday that his contract 
expires in 2023, and I think Ray will be done after that because he's going to the Hall of Fame this weekend, and I think he is going to put Dominic over, but I think Dominic will turn face and realign with his father after the match. And to go into that a little bit more, I think what will happen is... Dominic will distract Rhea and cost her the title. And then Dominic will beat Ray Queen. And then I think eventually Dominic's going to come out or make his presence in the Hell in a Cell and ultimately cost Finn. That is what I think will happen personally. And then we have a what they're calling a WrestleMania Showcase Tag Team Match. We have Braun Sherman and Ricochet, the Street Profits, the Alpha Academy, and the Viking Raiders. Um, I literally think they just did this match as a time filler. So, me personally, I'm going to go with the Street Profits to win and become the next number one contenders. For the tag titles. So, that is WrestleMania Night 1. Now, we're into WrestleMania Night 2. We have Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal title. Um, that match I has been built up even before Cody got hurt. And you know when he came back at the Rumble, he was going to win and challenge Roman. And I think he is going to come away with the victory this weekend and be the one to end Roman Reigns' 930-some-day reign as champion and become the first Rhodes to hold WWE Championship gold. And then we have Edge versus the Demon King Finn Balor inside Hell in a Cell. This one's a hard one for me to pick. I mean, you know they bring the demon out at special occasions and they rarely have him lose. But I a week ago I probably would have picked Spin, but ultimately now I think I'm gonna have to go with Edge to finally end this because I think Dominic, like I said earlier, will find a way to cost Finn the match. And Edge will come out the victor. And then we have Asuka versus Bianca for the Raw Women's title. Now, I'll just say the build-up for this match has been terrible. And I'm glad they finally had Asuka like, somewhat turn heel and attack Bianca. But... I think it's going to be a good match, none of the less, regardless of how bad the build-up's been up until, like, last week. And they're going to have Asuka win the belt, and I'm excited to see what she does under this new gimmick that Triple H has created for her. And we have a match I'm really looking forward to seeing, and that is Gunther versus Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. For the Intercontinental title. I think this match is going to be an absolute banger. As Sheamus would say. Banger after banger after banger. You get the idea. And speaking of Sheamus. That is my pick to win. And I think Sheamus is finally going to get the Grand Slam. Of titles. And it's. I think this one has potential to be match of the night. Personally. Then we have the match that, quite frankly, no one wants to see, but here we are. We have Brock Lesnar versus Almos. Now listen, Almos is big, he's tall, he's strong, but if they would put him down in NXT and, you know, teach him how to move in the ring a little bit, almost like the Big Show, because, you know, the Big Show could move around in the ring back in the day. And, you know, I'm glad that they have MVP talking for him. I'm glad that they have that. But I hope what happens in this match is, you know, 
since Bobby and Bray is probably not going to happen, you know, they have Lashley win the Andre, the Giant Battle Royal on SmackDown, and then, you know, they have the Hurt Business come out and attack Brock and, you know, help almost win. Like, that'd be a good way to introduce the Hurt Business. And then we have another WrestleMania showcase match. We have Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez, Natalia and Shotzi, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, and Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. And I think the winners of this match will be Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, and they will challenge... Becky Lynch and Lita for the Raw or the women's tag titles and win those titles. So that's WrestleMania night two out of the way. And then we have local event TWA Stormfront. I gotta lay back a little bit, guys. So Essentially, uh, what's going to happen is if you have a Fire TV, you could download the TWA app and they've been uploading all the recent shows to that app. So if for some reason you can't make it to the show, you can still watch this show. And if you do come to the show this weekend, be sure to bring a sign because we're going to be on TV, baby. It'll be uploaded right here to YouTube and on the TWA app on Fire TV. Um, I don't think it's been made available for any other platforms yet, but I'm sure that'll come soon. And I got the match card here for you. So we have newcomer to TWA, Yellow Man. Versus Connor Cross. I guess Yellow Man's been in the business for a while. I don't know that much about him personally. So I'm going to get this match to Connor Cross personally. And then we have my boy Big Rig taking on that, that devious idiot, Draven Post. And I think Big Ray is going to squash him and make him cry, make Draven cry like the little girl that he is. And I'm going to be sitting ringside, just laughing my ass off, cheering my man Big Ray going. And then we have Draven post his little boyfriend, everyone's favorite little dwarf, Alexander Crowley. Taking on Chuck Chronic in a rematch from TWA Champions Ball. Now, at the last show, Draven got involved and helped Crowley pick up the win. But this time, Draven is banned from ringside. And. So, it will be a fair advantage for Chuck. Chronic, and I think he'll come away with the win. And Crowley will, um, I don't know what Crowley will do. He'll go back to Canton and hopefully never come back to New Haven, West Virginia again. Because I don't think anyone in New Haven, West Virginia would care if Crowley or Draven Post show back up in New Haven again. Then we have. New, newly crowned TWA Legacy Champion Zayden Kane taking on Renegade Rick Rogers. Now, Renegade Rick Rogers hits a dangerous cutter for a finishing maneuver, and he has used that to put away several opponents in TWA in his tenure, and he is scratching and clawing to get his way to the top, but I don't think he's going to have it in him to beat Zayden Kane. Zayden Kane is on a roll, and I don't think he's losing the legacy title at Stormfront. 
And then we have Vincent Cross versus Joshua Charles for the TWA title. Now, last month at TWA Champions Ball, we saw the emergence of the new faction Dead Cell. And they came out and helped Cross defeat Mr. Slamville for the TWA title. And real quick, I want to wish my boy Mr. Slamuel a speedy recovery. I heard he's battling a neck injury and unfortunately will not be at the show this weekend. So Slamuel, heal up, rest up, and come back better than ever, my man, because you know we'll all be pulling for you in New Haven, West Virginia. But, you know, Joshua Charles, he's been on quite the roll since he's come back to TWA. But I think Dead Cell is too strong and will have multiple tricks up their sleeve. And I think Vincent Cross is going to hold on to the TWA title. Now, in the match for the TWA tag team titles, we have the other members of Dead Cell, Ryan James and Michael Saint, taking on the rock star underdog, Timmy Patterson, and the anti-Barbie, Stacey Lynn Patterson. Now, I love the Pattersons. You know, they're a family. They're a well-willed machine. They've overcome a lot of obstacles, but as I mentioned for the Vincent Cross match, you know, I, I think Dead Cell and Dr. Smiles, their manager, are going to have something up their sleeve. And I think it's going to be a dark day in TWA as Dead Cell holds all the gold in TWA. So, come out to that show in New Haven, West Virginia. Doors open at 6.30. Bell time is at 7.00. And if you can't make it, stay tuned for TWA's YouTube channel. I will have it linked in the description. As well as download the Fire TV app for TWA. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, the show will be uploaded there as well. So, next, last but not least, we have Supercard 2023. Which I'm highly disappointed I won't get to watch this. I thought this was going to be on Honor Club. But it's on pay-per-view, so that sucks. But nonetheless, I will break down the matches here for you and give you my picks. And if you want to watch Ring of Honor Weekly Television, you can subscribe to Ring of Honor Club. It is $9.99 a month, and you will get... The weekly ROH shows, as well as shows from the archive. And then I think a month later, they'll have this show on the app as well. So first off, we got the Embassy taking on Blake Christian, AR Fox, and Manalik for the six-man titles. I'm going to give this match to the Embassy. They got Prince Nala in their corner. They're a well oil machine. They've been teaming a lot longer than Blake Christian and company. So I think the Embassy retains the titles here. And then we have Mark Briscoe versus Samoa Joe for the Ring of Honor television title. I think Mark Briscoe has the advantage. He has the crowd behind him. You know he's going to dedicate this match to his late brother, Jay. And I think Mark Briscoe is going to win the ROH TV title. And there goes my G-Names coupon book. And then we have Wheeler Yuta versus Katsuyori Shibata for the pure title. Apparently, this Shibata guy is a trainer at the LA Dojo for New Japan. And Willie Yuta called him out on a recent episode of Ring of Honor. And I think Willie Yuta's at the top of his game right now. The Blackpool Combat Club, now that their heels are super dangerous, they're just beating the hell out of everybody. And I think Willie Yuta is going to retain. 
And then, in the Reach for the Sky ladder match for the ROH Tag Titles as a tribute to the late, great Jay Briscoe, we have the Lucha Brothers, the Kingdom, Top Flight, Roosh and Drillistico, and Ozzy Open. Ooh. This is going to be a tough pick, but I'm going Top Flight. Top Flight... You know, Dante has been doing well in singles division, you know, when Darius was injured. And now that Darius is back, they've been a well-oiled machine. And I think Top Flight has it in him to gain the ROH Tag Titles. Now, I don't think this match is happening on the Super Card. From what I read, Athena versus Emi Sakura... Like, they're going to fight for the title, and then they're fighting. The winner of that's fighting somebody at Supercard. But nonetheless, I'm picking Athena to beat Emi Sakura, Sakura and then retain the title at Supercard of Honor. And then we have Eddie Kingston versus Claudio Castagnoli for the Ring of Honor title. I got to pick Eddie Kingston on this. Eddie is ready. He he is going to win this. And I think he is finally going to see World Championship go. So, that's all the wrestling going on this weekend. So, next... Excuse me. Let's talk video games. I got a big stack of games here. So first off, yesterday I was at Walmart. And I seen this for 10 bucks. It's weird because it's a download voucher in here and not the cartridge. But nonetheless, it was only 10 bucks. It was instant tennis. I played a little bit of it today. It's not a bad game for 10 bucks. So, I picked that up yesterday. I, I might have said today, but I picked it up yesterday. I, this wasn't part of the birthday haul, but I got it recently, so I figured I'd just throw it in here. And then, this was part of the birthday haul. We have Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I have not beat Kingdom Battle yet, but I heard this had some 3D platforming in it as well so I figured you know what I can figure out the stories and I'm going to go ahead and give this a try and it was on sale for $28 pre-owned which is a good price for a Switch game so I went ahead and grabbed it and then we have a game I figured I found in a the uh Walmart magazine thingy. You know there's free magazines they give out at their game center. So this is Justice League Comet Chaos. You know I love superheroes, so I definitely had to try this out. And since it's on the Switch with the ability to play it on my TV or on the go, I had to get it for the Switch. And then we have the new Tales from the Borderlands Deluxe Edition. I love Telltale games. So when I seen this was on sale for 20 bucks, I had to grab it. And then I took some old toys into the local Classic Plastics toy store. And with the trade, I got this game. It is B-Wolf the game. Looks pretty interesting for the PS3. So I did get this. Hopefully it's a good game. And then I got some PS5 games. I got Callisto Protocol. My buddy Nick from Inclusion said this was a really good game. And I watched some videos and I thought it looked pretty good. So I went ahead and picked it up at GameStop. And then yesterday I also found this for 20 bucks. And I wanted to give it a try, and I fake, and it didn't have the keeper price on it, so I figured it'd shoot back up. So I figured I might as well get it while I had the money, and that is Resident Evil Village. 
and it also came with a uh, reverse. So I got this for tw two games for 20 bucks. Not a bad deal, so I went ahead and got that. I love a good deal on video games. And then I was playing this last night. I seen it was at Walmart for 20 bucks. I wanted to get it for the Switch, but you know, I might have to pick up a Switch port later on because this was 20 bucks on the PS5 and I couldn't pass it up. I love platforming games. I love this franchise. It's an iconic franchise. I mean, people who are not gamers have probably played this game series at least once in their life. And that is ReWorld Pac-Man. Really fun game. I've been having fun with it so far. And if you're at Walmart and you see this for 20 bucks, definitely give it a shot. And then, last but not least, bro, well, for the physical, that is, we have the Captain's Edition of MLB The Show 23 for the Xbox Series X. Uh, I had to pick it up with the new hat. So, I got this, and tell you guys, on Road to the Show, I did a two-way player, and I actually threw a perfect game with my pitcher. So, I was pretty excited about that. So, I've been playing a lot of this and having a good time with it. And then, um, I also did the, the 120 some dollar version of WWE 2K23. I'm playing the lock my rise mode. It's super fun. And I think the lock is a badass name for a wrestler. You know, even though I did enjoy the my rise in 2K20 with Trey and Red, I mean. Like, I don't know. I just thought those were two generic names and not really wrestling names, but I did enjoy those modes. I enjoy the My Rise just about every year. And I so I did pick up that as well. And I think that'll do it, guys. We're 32 minutes and counting in this video. And I've talked about wrestling and video games. So, I will see you guys next time for another video. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will talk with you guys in the next one. CT out.